Okay, we're gonna ink our uh, color graph. As you see here, I've spread ink out. You just need very little bit, very little at a time. And get it going on here, ink it up, get it nice and saturated. Oh, I may need more. So this is what we have. Um, We try to roll the different different ways. Um, it's not perfectly dry, but it should be interesting. Okay, so this is another thing you uh, want to check out too: is to make sure your paper's more or less registered. You could put a mark down on the board, stretch the paper out. Make sure it's centered. That's what we call our registration. And I'm gonna put this little paper on the top. So I'm gonna tear this fantastic rice paper. So this right here is what we call a barren. As you see, this is two wooden knobs this is what you would use uh in a cabinet door handle or something like that just take them and glue them together you could just stick them together uh, and and uh this would be your bearing if you have a smaller smaller hand you can make a smaller one um and then also we go across this everything down okay cross horizontal you do vertical okay let's see what we have Okay, see if we had a press, that would be a, a blanket and a board, but hopefully we don't need a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure. So, I didn't ink this up too much. So, here we go. So, any print, you know you're going to get a reverse of, of what you have, so while you're working it, it, it if you're working uh, portrait style or landscape or if you're going to do a um, portrait or let's say like a still life you can actually when you're drawing you can hold it up to a mirror and, and look at it and, s and figure out what you have um, also here we have um, another baron that i made these are two similar this is a little detail these are similar um Doorknobs, you can get them from any neighborhood hardware. Um, glue them together, get your bearing there, or you can just go to any art supply store and they have a bearing that just like with a, that has a handle to it. I have them in the studio somewhere, but I don't have it now. Uh, also, you can maybe look at um, this little wooden spoon. That could that could work too. You could probably probably put pressure on your board. Okay, get a good look at that print. Okay, so we can use any 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 number of textures and designs, even uh, portraits, uh, self portrait that that type of work. So um, that's one example there. So we can actually use even a kitchen spoon, wooden spoon, put pressure on it. See the bottom is a little, it's okay, it's, it's flat. And then have your uh, rolling pin. 
okay so that that would uh, work okay so that would be something that you could use this one doesn't have spindles but you can use one with spindles and uh, maybe it'll get some good pressure so that's all for now and also if you wanted to just add colors um, you probably would be able to do that separately with uh, separate smaller rollers that kind of thing and um, let the ink build up use different kinds of ink so for now um, I believe that's finished as far as uh, a demo is gone for uh, color graph. Thank you.